Yeah, we back. We back. Now, today's going to be a quick video. We got news coming out of Senegal that a coup d'etat has occurred. Now, they're not going to call it a coup d'etat because the gentleman in question, uh, President Macky Sall of Senegal, he's actually an asset of the West, an ally of France. So you're not going to hear any talks of sending in the troops or any sanctions or any, you know, you're not going to hear no, no European Union, no United Nations representatives talking about it's time to drop sanctions. No, you're not going to hear nothing. You're not going to hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be business as usual. So we're going to get into it and uh, take a look up on the screen. As you can see, this headline, I believe it's coming from uh, Bloomberg. Senegal lawmakers to vote to extend President Macky Sall's mandate. As you can see, this headline from the New York Times. Senegal's president calls off the national election. <laughs> listen, but listen, you're not going to hear nothing from President Macron in France talking about it's time to send in the troops. It's time for ECOWAS to mobilize the forces to uphold democracy. You're not going to hear none of that, bro. You're not going to hear none of that. Let's continue. Let's take a look at the statement put out by ECOWAS, the regional bloc in West Africa, the same ECOWAS that was threatening military intervention when it came to the coup d'etat that occurred in Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali. Right. That was sponsored by France and the United States, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's take a look at the statement put out by ECOWAS in regards to this postponement of the election and this extension of the mandate in Senegal. They said this. The Commission of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, takes note of the decision that the Senegalese authorities have taken to postpone the presidential election scheduled to take place on the 25th of February, 2024. The ECOWAS Commission expresses concern over the circumstances that have led to the postponement of the elections and appeals to the competent authorities to expedite the various processes in order to set a new date for the elections. The commission further urges the entire political class to prioritize dialogue and collaboration for transparent, inclusive, and credible elections. The ECOWAS Commission salutes President Macky Sall. <laughs> the ECOWAS Commission salutes President Macky Sall for upholding his earlier decision not to run for another term and encourages him to continue to defend and protect Senegal's long-standing democratic tradition. The commission will remain seized of the situation. Now, listen, like I showed you in the first headline by Bloomberg, uh, it doesn't seem like any elections are going to be taking place anytime soon. Obviously, the February elections, they threw that shit in the trash and they said, listen, we're going to extend the mandate. You know what I'm saying? We're going to extend the mandate. And if you know the history of many former French colonial um, states, uh, there have been presidents that have been in power for like, you know, 30, 40, 50 years. And this is typically how it happens. Right. They come out with a new constitution. They just come out with a new law. And they say we extend it. We're not gonna have. We're not gonna hold any elections this year. We're gonna hold it at a you know undetermined date. And next thing you know, it's been 25 years and he's still in power. So this is what we call you know the democratic coup d'état. You know the civilian coup d'état, the constitutional coup d'état. Right? Everybody got a problem with the military coup d'état, but everybody got no problem with the constitutional democratic civilian coup d'état. Now, obviously, Macky Sall, he's not ready to give up power. And obviously, his allies and accomplices in the Western nations, they obviously have no problem with it because he has been a very loyal stooge to Western interests and Western companies and Western corporations. So anyways, man, let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. Now, funny enough, we actually have reactions coming from the Alliance of Sahelian States, which is the federation that was created by Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. Right. They actually have their own little, you know, Twitter account that actually puts out their media information and things like that so this is what they had to say about the situation a constitutional coup Macky Sall postpones the presidential elections indefinitely president Macky Sall made a resounding announcement causing a shock in the Senegalese political landscape in a speech to the nation he declared the indefinite postponement of the presidential election initially scheduled for February 25th they went on to say the sub-regional organization quick to condemn the coups in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger endorses the constitutional postponement of the Senegalese election, leaving the specter of a monarchy hovering. On February 25th, 2024, the Senegalese were expected at the polls to elect their new president. But in a twist, ECOWAS took note of the postponement of the presidential election indefinitely by Macky Sall without batting an eyelid. The organization urged the Senegalese authorities to accelerate the various processes to set a new date. A dialogue is also advocated for a transparent, inclusive, and credible election. In comparison, ECOWAS has been much harsher towards the military in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, imposing heavy economic sanctions. This blatant bias of ECOWAS is a real snub for Senegalese democracy and an encouragement to all heads of state in the region to free themselves from constitutional rules. Now listen, I just gotta say, if you are a head of state and you have the blessing and the backing of the Western Imperial Nations, 
you don't need to follow no fucking rules, nigga. You could wake up and say, nigga, I'm president for life, nigga. I'm president for life, and I got the foreign militaries behind me. That's it. That's it. You don't got to follow no fucking constitution. Nigga, the constitution don't mean shit. Now, let's continue. Now, let's take a look at some more of the reactions on social media. This person said, either the Senegalese chase out Makisau this week, or they will live under dictatorship, resistance, and mobilization. This person said, Knowing the slim chances of his party's candidate winning the 2024 elections, Macky Sall opted to cancel the constitutionally sanctioned election. Was he not the very guy who previously spearheaded an ECOWAS military and diplomatic campaign in the Gambia aimed at ensuring the former president adhere to the rule of law and constitutional governance following the 2016 presidential elections? I see no difference between his current actions in the Senegal and those that he sought to correct in a post-election conduct in Gambia. Now that a similar situation is unfolding in Senegal, I cannot wait to see what ECOWAS could do as a regional player. Man, listen, ECOWAS not gonna do shit, bro. President Macky Sall, he's in a pocket of them French multinational corporations. He's in a pocket of them white boys from the West. So he can stay in power for the next four decades like the homie down in Togo and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen because it's not about democracy. Ma democracy is the facade, is the veil they put over their true intentions, which is their economic and political interests. And as long as their economic and political interests are being defended, listen, you can stay in power until old age. You can stay in power until you 95 years old, bro. And even when you die, you could just put your son in power. That is very common in these French colonial states. You could just change the constitution, stay in power forever, and then put your son in power. And he stays in power forever. Next thing you know, it's been one family in power for like 150 years. Bro, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's continue. This person said, Maki Sal is such a disappointment. I hope the West will denounce this coup with the same force as it did with its neighbors. A constitutional coup is still a coup. This person said, can Joe Biden cancel the presidential election with 22 days to go because the polls show his worst opponent, Trump, might win? Do the sovereign American people deserve more respect than the sovereign Senegalese people, or do you consider us to be subhumans? Now, listen, it's not about if they consider you to be human or not. It's simply about, you know, what you have the power to do. It's simply about defending your interests. So if President Macky Sall has positioned himself as the defender, of Western interests in Senegal, then yes, they're gonna defend him. They're gonna defend him even when he's wrong because it's not about right or wrong, you know? That's what we gotta understand. That's what we gotta understand as, as black people, African people. It's not about right or wrong, bro. Like, like I told you, morality does not exist. It's not about right or wrong, right? So once you understand that it's not about right or wrong, it's not about morality, then you can begin to see things with a clear eye vision. And instead of trying to appeal to the morality of individuals, you should begin to adapt to the environment so instead of trying to understand why do they support these corrupt leaders why don't you begin supporting and sponsoring leaders in foreign countries that advance your interests that act as double agents on your behalf and to your own benefit why don't you begin to adapt to your environment and get accustomed to the landscape right so instead of asking yourself why do they assassinate our good leaders why do they support our corrupt leaders why don't you also begin engaging in the same behavior now that's all i'm gonna say and that's all i'm gonna say now i'm just gonna leave it at that because listen that's all I'm going to say. I just got to put the disclaimer out there. I don't believe in violence. I don't support violence. I don't encourage violence. I don't encourage none of that. But I'm just saying, instead of trying to appeal to the morality of others, why don't you simply engage in the same behavior? Why don't you simply get a, get accustomed to the landscape that you're dealing with, right? So instead of asking, why do they support these foreign double agents that work against the national interest? Why don't you also begin sponsoring and supporting leaders and politicians and movements in other nations that work against the national interests of that country to your behalf i mean listen just i'm just i'm just i'm just throwing out thoughts i'm just throwing out you know different ideas now let's continue this person said if the elections are not held within the constitutional deadline of february 25th automatically mr makisa could go beyond his current mandate in short a classic move is being prepared time to find a successor that is faithful to france or quite simply announce his candidacy at the end which would undoubtedly plunge senegal into chaos this person said, we Senegalese are cowards. We believe we live in a democracy when we have lived in a dictatorship since 1960. We expect God to do everything for us. Great. This person said, in summary, the traitor of the Republic declared that I'm not a candidate for the next election, but I'm not organizing it and I will remain president of the Republic until infinity. This person said, the United States is okay with constitutional coups if they support the incumbent, but at poor military coups even though they are popular with the people because it is not their puppet. This double standard is why the global south is revolting against the rules-based order. This person said, 
Senegal is led by an outlaw president in Macky Sall. He has orchestrated a coup d'etat in gross violation of the constitution. The international community must act now before scores of youth who won't accept this coup are needlessly slaughtered. Now, this is what sets the stage for these military coups that have occurred in the region for the past couple years. Number one, we already know that when a president has the backing of foreign powers, he's not gonna be working in the advancement of national interest. That's number one. Number two, this is why military coups and military governments have been gaining popularity amongst the people because once the people realize that them going the democratic route, the route of the elections, then once they realize that's a facade and it's not really leading them to any progress and prosperity, they then turn to the military, right? So whether you think the military is right or wrong, unless these civilian leaders, these democratic leaders can get their shit together, we can't really be trying to condemn the military coups if we do not equally condemn the constitutional democratic civilian coups with the same energy and vigor. That's all I'm gonna say about it. You know, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Anyways, man, it's your boy Nefakari, that's a lane back in the building, yes indeed. Cash up on the screen and I'm gone. Peace. On a horse and came back in that ass and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in a room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the Sauce, packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so at least. Shorty be charged and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.